Well, gentle and kind sirs, we're all gathered here today to talk about this Texas Star 400. It's got a match set of four, uh, 2290s in it. We're going to do all the upgrades to it. We're going to get rid of this antique coax. We're going to do the power wire upgrades to it. We're going to put a new meter on it. And we're probably going to replace the broken as push button. We're going to switch this over to LED. LED. And uh, we're going to give it a go. So, it's that simple. This is going to be quick, easy, and to the point. Gentlemen, let's get with it. All right, all right, all right. So, preamp upgraded, power wires upgraded, all cleaned up. Um, all new coax on the input and output side. Um, in all fairness, I'm going to point this out the one heat sink. The heat sink down here has got a little bit of scuffing on it, but I want to re blue it. Uh, cold aluminum blue. So we got that all fixed up. Case came out great. The only thing I have left to do is drill and pim nut this because I'm going to make it so it's got threadable screws instead of sheet metal screws. Novel idea, right? So on the front, <clears throat> we have all LED now, all the way across. Put brand new labels on it. Um, the only thing I didn't do is change out the meter because this is the one that is held together. The meter, the faceplate is what holds the, the meter is what holds the faceplate on. So, did have to throw a new key and transistor in it for whatever reason. Here's all the parts I changed out. Boop boop. Okay. Let's get on to the test portion of this. So we're on 12 volts. And we're going to put, hello, audio, about 20 watts or so into it, give or take. Amp on. Hello, one, two, one, two. 400 watts, no problem on 12 volts. Let's turn the volume up on the radio. Preamp works great. Um, our input tune is, hello, hello. Awesome. And we'll turn the amp off. Our pass through tune is audio. Awesome as well. Okay. So let's run it through its paces. Let's turn it up on volts and let's max it out. Give it a couple seconds for the power supply to charge up the batteries and charge up the super caps. And we're going to stop at 14.9. We're there. So amplifier on. Hello, audio. So just short of 600 watts out of this Texas Star 400. Hello, audio. Of course, needles run into the corner. Hello, one, two. Just changed how that, there we go. Hello, one, two. We'll put the AM button in, which is just a little bit of an attenuator. Hello. One, two, 400 watts with the attenuator in. Sideband delay, which now we're in low. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. 300 watts. Everything on this box works titties. And titties doesn't even quite describe how well this box works. So, on that note, we're going to say that this thing's for sale. Oh, 650 plus the ride. There's a little wobble here in the bottom of the face and a little wobble over here on the corner. But all in all, this is probably a nine, maybe an 8.5 out of 10. And the thing that makes it really cool is the transistors that are in it. Old school, never fail Toshiba 2290s. Remember, gents, it's a low drive, low drive amp. One or two watt dead key, modulating to about 30 or 40 watts peak. Otherwise, about maybe eight, 10 bird. That's it. That's all you'd ever want to put into this gem. So, you guys know the drill. The first one to call, the first one to text, the first one to write, the first one to set up smoke signals, first one to fling their freaking their girlfriend or 
their sister's bar underwear up on the stage gets it and this is the way it works so on that note the quickest texas star dx 400 repair video in history and the main reason it wouldn't work for the previous owner is because of this transistor just saying okay i'm out gentlemen be good we'll talk to somebody soon appreciate every single one of you big shout out to my patreons as always big shout out to penta xs siglent mcmahon bird coaxial dynamics thank you gentlemen i'll see you quick click